A thin line separates love and hate. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video game sequels loved by critics but hated by fans. For this list, we're looking at critical darlings that garnered some form of backlash from fans. This is not to say that these games are considered terrible, just the reviews do not necessarily paint the full picture. Number 10. Dragon Age 2 I get the feeling you're in trouble. It's not like that. Not exactly. A sequel is supposed to take the elements in the original that worked and fine-tune the less savory parts. For the wholly anticipated follow-up to Dragon Age Origins, BioWare nuked the open world, simplified the combat, and killed most of the character customization. Averaging an 82 on Metacritic, Dragon Age 2 garnered a respectable enough critical reception. However, fans were less forgiving. For the most part, the writing of the characters remained decent, but the campaign's over-reliance on recycling the same maps quickly grew tiresome. Opting for a more action-oriented combat system, the gameplay lacked the tactical nuance of Dragon Age Origins. Number 9. Banjo-Kazooie – Nuts and Bolts Hype can serve as a game's best friend or worst enemy. As a standalone title, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts has a solid car-building mechanic that allows for a great deal of experimentation and creativity. As a sequel to one of the best platforming franchises of all time, Nuts and Bolts can only be seen as a huge disappointment. Reviews were generally fine, but the complete departure from Banjo-Kazooie's classic formula caught fans by surprise and left many feeling almost betrayed. Nuts and Bolts is a decent game, but a terrible Banjo-Kazooie sequel. <laughs> Number 8. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Without exception, every new Zelda game attracts widespread acclaim and a bit of pushback, but that tends to be a small minority. Unsurprisingly, Skyward Sword garnered universal acclaim from critics, but certain design choices were not quite as appreciated by some fans. After the densely packed Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword's overworld offers little in the way of exploration, as well as repeated backtracking to the same areas, although Nintendo did compensate by increasing the number of dungeons. The motion controls do require some getting used to, which might explain why the prologue seems to last forever, and Fi constantly disrupts the flow of play to educate Link on the most basic of matters. Number 7. Diablo 3 Defeated. Fueled by more than a decade of anticipation, Diablo 2's successor needed to be perfect to meet expectations. Critics showered praise upon Blizzard's action RPG, but the player base was permeated with widespread negativity. Starting with Always On DRM that caused congested servers at launch, an opportunistic real money auction house, and no PvP. While others took aim at the campaign's dialogue, underwhelming endgame, and a loot system that prioritized quantity over quality. In due time, Blizzard removed the auction house and greatly altered the loot system, so these criticisms were clearly justified. Reaper of Souls was a huge step in the right direction, but Diablo 3 is still arguably a more casual experience than the second game. Number 6. Assassin's Creed 3 Well, they're settled in then. I've got a story to tell, and it's gonna take a while to get it all out. With Ezio's storyline out of the way, Ubisoft skipped forward to the American Revolution and introduced Connor as the main character. Assassin's Creed 3 brought to a close Desmond's arc and seemed to hit the spot with reviewers, but Ubisoft's open world is plagued by countless issues that ensure the 2012 game ranks among the most divisive in the franchise. I don't think you can just come in here, throw those on, and call yourself an assassin. I, I did not. I, I would never presume... 
Putting aside the various glitches and bugs, fans found Assassin's Creed 3's settlements afford little room for parkour, the story wasn't as interesting as its predecessors, and the new main character Connor Kenway came off as bland and uninteresting. On a more positive note, the ship segments are an absolute blast to play. What do we do? No tells but to fight back! Sink the bastard! Number 5. Destiny 2 The last of the shuttles is away. Bungie needed three expansions to finally deliver on Destiny's potential, so the sequel really has no excuse for being such a disappointment. At launch, Destiny 2 was hailed as the answer to all of its predecessor's problems, but the honeymoon period didn't last too long. For a property promising to entertain players for hundreds of hours, the post-game content was shockingly shallow at release, and the gameplay loop remained essentially unchanged from the first Destiny. If the Cabal want war, give them war. To make matters even worse, Bungie's post-launch expansions have regularly attracted more controversy than acclaim. However, Bungie splitting from Activision in January 2019 has started to see public reception recover. Perhaps third time's the charm? That's it. We've done it. Number 4. Battlefield 5 Here is a game that fans decided they hated before it even came out. Cosmetically, Battlefield V is a big departure from the franchise's other numbered titles. With the series going back to World War II, fans were also hoping for a return to the series' roots. Instead, new cosmetic customization brought back people of color from Battlefield I and, gasp, playable female soldiers. A lot of series fans felt, in a completely not racist or sexist way, we swear, that people of color and female soldiers ruined the game's established immersion and gave the game negative review scores while critics were more positive by focusing on the gameplay and content. Hmm. He told me that the good soldier kills without thinking of his enemy as a human being. In the moment he sees him as a fellow man, he's no longer a good soldier. And I was a good soldier. Number 3. Dark Souls 2 Out of all of the Souls games, the entry with the highest average on Metacritic is also the one that tends to split the fanbase. The only release not directed by Hidetaka Miyazaki, Dark Souls 2 increased the number of bosses and improved upon many of the first game's mechanics, but those elements do not necessarily define From Software series. In comparison with Dark Souls' interconnected level design, the sequel's open world lacks cohesion and rarely complements the lore, which was also a point of contention for many fans. Dark Souls 2 is not seen as a bad game, but it is definitely the franchise's black sheep. Number 2. Call of Duty Franchise Even at the franchise's lowest, reviews seldom dip below the mid-70s, but everything released after World at War has been subject to fan backlash. Home to an underwhelming multiplayer and an only sporadically entertaining single-player campaign, Modern Warfare 3 is simultaneously a critical darling and among the most despised entries in the series. Whether referring to Infinite Warfare's impressive campaign or Black Ops 3's zombie mode, each Call of Duty boasts a couple of positives, but the consistently high critical scores do not really align with the fanbase's general consensus. We have been not quite at the end yet. Almost there, though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Alright, back to business. Number 1. Mass Effect 3 If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. As the final chapter in an ambitious, character-driven space opera, BioWare strive to deliver a conclusion worthy of the Mass Effect name. 
Adored by reviewers at the time, Mass Effect 3 encountered near-instant criticism from fans, with the ending drawing most of the attention. We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it. The backlash was so severe, Bioware released a DLC to try and make amends, but Mass Effect 3 was a fundamentally different experience from the previous games. Sacrificing character interactions for a more plot-driven campaign, Bioware streamlined most of the RPG elements in favor of third-person shooter action. Love or hate it, Mass Effect 3 is nothing if not controversial. I tried, Shepard. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.